Hi there everybody, welcome to my channel, Living Light channel, where we use God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost to guide us. I'm here to do a reading for you guys today, and I'm going to start with the prayer. Dear God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, thank you for blessing us all with the clarity and discernment to clearly see the signs you send us, and to hear the true messages you speak to us. I'm asking you to go into the hearts of man who may not even know you. I'm asking you to help them see their true divinity. The secret lies within every cell of your being. You are the miracles God created. I ask you to release us all from the grips of the devil to get out of her and to get out of him. Break the chains that bind everyone from being their true selves and allow their light to shine. In the, name of, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. God is the magic, the original influencer, and only love is real. You must take control of your mind. The minute you start having any self-talk of lack or doubt, know that it's not true. Command your mind, only love can heal. Your power of self-governance is the only thing that is real. The sun shines on your face. The warmth of the rays cleanses your soul and warms your heart. You are your best advocate always. Never second guess yourself. I had the strangest dream last night and I'm not gonna get into the details, but if any of you are astral traveling and you feel threatened in any way, shape or form, or you feel trapped, just say to yourself, wake up now wake up now, just snap your fingers. It's kind of like uh, Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz, you know, click your shoes and take yourself home. I'm going to start with the Archangel deck. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's a beautiful Sunday here. The sun is shining. It's just gorgeous. I put up some sheets so you didn't have to see my <laughs> construction. The first card we got is Hello from Heaven. It's Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine, so let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Know that whenever you're feeling alone, that your loved ones are with you. They are definitely with you. That's the whole point of our lives here and we come here to learn things and then our body passes on but our soul still lives on and um i was reading the bible last night before i went to sleep and jesus was there to heal people with their heart their mind and their body and their soul body mind and soul and once um jesus realized that the mind is what was keeping people sick and making them sick. He was able to take their, the sins that they had been carrying or been put, put on them from past trauma. You know, the ones I'm talking about. We've all carried it for many years, many centuries, passed down from one generation to another, whether it be going hungry or dealing with rape or you know, um, memories of war, you know, that stays within your cellular body. Once you realize that you can go to Jesus and he will take all your sins. And once you take, you confess your sins, you're forgiven and it's never mentioned again. And if the people from your past are keep bringing up your past, that's what's keeping you locked down. It's okay to walk away. You don't have to stop loving them, but you don't want to be kept in a perpetual loop of the past. That's how you're, that's how I've been able to let go. It may not work for you, but it's working for me. And I just have to say thank you to everybody out there, all the tarot card readers in the community, in the, the workplace, the, the arena, the, just for the support and um, the love and just the general well wishes, they are grateful. And I decided to come on today just to show you how grateful I am and that 
when you keep your faith and you keep rebuking the devil and only allowing love and light into your life, that miraculous things change for you and you are able to accomplish things that you never thought you could before, you know, because that self-doubt keeps you low and keeps you from uh, living your true purpose and shining that light that lies within you. I'll pull a card from the goddess deck for you guys. Oh, well, we got two. We got Green Tara, and it's Start Delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. Know that we're all on the same team here. We're all working to bring people to the light, to their true their true selves. It's, um, I'm not here to come compete with anybody. I'm just here to help. And that's all that we can do, right? So know that you can call on Green Tara at any time if you need help. And then we got Goddess Matt, and it's fairness. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So just know that you have God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost on your side rooting for you. You know, there's been so many secrets kept from us, and it's all starting to come out, and it's all starting to make sense. And there are a lot of souls that are trapped in the, uh, in the underworld, right? And when you go down there, go with faith, go with love, go knowing that you're there to save people, to bring them out of their darkness, to bring them out of their own, um, I guess, cage or jail cell, or you just have to release them. Once you release them, then they're free and they never have to go back there. Many of us are held captive souls that is held captive by people that tempt you and when you fall into temptation they have you and once they have you they don't let go they being the the dark side and people don't want to think that there really is a dark side or don't want to believe in angels well it's that saying, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But it's true. It really does exist. And lots of people are exposing it. It's happening all over the place, all over the news. Things are happening. Things are changing and things are being brought to the light. So know that you're protective, protected. Know that you are protective. Um, if I, I float around youtube and i've been doing it for a while and before youtube you know i just followed my gut instinct and would just go to different places and different people and help them i, I can't explain how i know it was just a sense that you felt and you need to start following your energy senses if you're pay attention to your instincts and your intuition and if it feels bad don't go if it feels good, go forward and see where it takes you. I'll call from the Arna Manifestation Oracle card deck. They're a beautiful deck. Ask God and the angels to cleanse and bless these cards. What does the collective need to know today? What does the collective need to know today? Please, God, guide me. The dream I had last night after I woke up, I shared it with a friend, my dream. But right away I heard the song by Bette Midler about um, from a distance and you might wanna go and listen to that. And basically it's the saying that God is always watching us and he's never far away. So a lot of music that we listen to talks about God, talks about his light, and talks about him coming 
and he's here. He lives within us. Jesus walks with you. He's part of you. Okay. The card that came up was unhappiness. And it's card number 61. You may be feeling unhappy. So I'm just going to read the card. Unhappiness is a frequency. Freq excuse me. Unhappiness is frequently the result of an inability to live in alignment with the calling of your soul. Rebuke the devil and only allow love and light into your heart. Don't listen to the naysayers because that's what their job is. They're just, people are unhappy in general. We've all been dealing with the you know, the different pandemics and the things that they're speaking over us. When this happens, our uneasy and challenging emotions are an indication that we need to listen to ourselves. This card asks you to have faith and to trust. Get still and meditate and listen to the voice of your heart and open yourself to receive guidance. That's pretty well self-descriptive if you need to see that again. Anything else? Okay. Then we got Don't Wobble. Card number 13. Are you having a wobble? Whether a minor one or a major one, this is completely understandable. If you're doing something new, of course you're going to wobble, you know. You are facing tough choices. But deep inside yourself, you know what you need to do. This card is here to validate your deeper knowing and the decisions that you are making. As you move forward, your anxiety will ease and you will refine your balance. So that's good. Know that when you're trying new things, that you know, you're, it's normal to be nervous. It's normal to have anxiety. Just keep going on your path and every day it'll get easier and easier. And, um, be your own self mana. Boost yourself up when you need to. If you don't have anybody, or anybody around that is lifting you up, know that you always have God. You always have Jesus. You always have the Holy Ghost. You have your past over loved ones. You have your angels. You have friends. Um, they could be near and they could be far. They could be here on earth or they could be in the spirit realm. Spirit realm. Know that you're always protected, always. And spirituality is good. Most people that are dealing with spirituality, they're dealing with their heart. And your heart emanates pure love out into the atmosphere. And it can be felt from all over the world, all over in many dimensions. Everybody's so concerned about aliens and stuff, but why? Why would people be afraid of that? Because of the narrative that we've all grown up with about being abducted and all these different stories. And I don't know, maybe the people they're being abducted with or the species they're being abducted, abducted with are on the dark side. And if you're dealing with stuff like that, you need to up your protection. Definitely go to God and Jesus because they will protect you and prevent any evil from entering into your life. The dark always targets the weak, the ones that don't know what's going on or how to protect themselves. There are many videos on YouTube. There are many podcasts you can go to that will help you to teach you how to empower yourself. I found the easiest way is just going to Jesus. Ask him to come into your heart. His blood runs through your veins. All you have to do is believe. And you will... It's almost like a, it's like a little switch that goes off in your cells that you have in your body. And you're protected. And that's it. And don't pay any mind to any negativity that's coming your way. Know that it's just, it's strengthening you. And when 
you start picking up on those, you can f figure out where it's coming from. And you just say, rebuke the devil and don't give him access anymore to your, to your body, to your, to your living space. We all have a right. And there's many rights here on earth. There's many rights in the spirit realm. And if people are breaking those rights or infringing on your privacy, remember that song, Bette Midler, from a distance. God is always watching us. And he's always watching over you. You just have to be open to receive it. Acknowledge him. Once you get, believe in Jesus, you have everlasting life. That's your soul. Your soul gets to live on forever and ever. I'm told just to cut the deck. This is the Infinite Energies Oracle card deck. We have electricity. Electricity, powerful to wield and just don't get burned. So know your limits. Know what you can do and know what you can't do and stay within those boundaries. And we got Soul Star, number 40. Don't adapt to the energy in the room, influence it. The Akashic Records offer a process to connect to the divine knowing of your soul at this moment. So know that you're always guided. You're always guided to do the right things, to say the right things, to go to the right places. You are protected. You are strong. I'll take this one. I think it's perfect. Peace. Card number 36. You are the sky. Everything else is just weather. Peace cannot be kept by force. It must come from understanding. So just know. It's like when you need something like, for instance, I guess a couple months ago, I was using my drill. And it's just got a weak battery. And I just said to myself, I guess I'm going to have to invest in a, a better battery. Later on that afternoon, I went to the free store. Guess what was there? A new battery, a bigger battery, and a spare charger. So I was just like, holy crap. That's pretty good. I'm noticing more and more. When I think of things, they're showing up more quickly. So I'm showing gratitude for what I had. So I encourage you guys to show gratitude for whatever you have at this moment in time. Give thanks for all your little knickknacks and your rocks and your friends and family. And realize like everybody's struggling. You're not alone. My hair's growing. Sorry, <laughs> my hair's growing, so it's going to go through all kinds of phases, and it's not even important, is it? <laughs> I'm called to the tea leaf for you guys. You may have dealings with a younger woman. Don't forget, we have to guide others, right? Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Everybody struggles. Remember that. They may come across as shy, insecure, maybe not knowing the direction to go all you can do is pray for them ask god to watch over them and to guide them just my interpretation this channel is for entertainment purposes only 
not to replace any anybody that you're seeing. And we got we got broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. Well, that's pretty soft to soft descriptive it's hard when we our relationships fall apart it's very hard because when you love somebody and you just want to see the best in them and encourage them and build them up they have a right not to accept it too and sometimes the people that come into our lives are just there to teach us a lesson. Sometimes it's to pull back. I'll share with you what I've been using. Sorry, this is a left fielder, but I figure everybody should know it. Get yourself some jojoba oil. And that's it. I used to call it jojoba. It's jojoba oil. Almond oil, some vitamin E oil, and some fractionated coconut oil. I've been using all those on my face, my skin, my body, in my bath. And it's really been helping because we're natural. We're not meant to be preserved with preservatives. And it's affordable. I know they charge a lot for this may piss off some business owners, but oh well. There's a lot of us out there that just can't afford a $300 bottle of face serum. So you can get all these items at your local drugstore or online or through Amazon. So you could be parting your ways in either romance or business. So. Maybe you might be starting a new business. Maybe maybe you're just not resonating with what you're doing anymore. Maybe it's time for a change. The ball's in your court. It's up to you. You ultimately make the right choices. Go to God. The Holy Ghost will tell you. Will send you signs. Will give you like inklings on what to do. We got the bat. It says, take care. Enemies are working against you. I love that. When you have enemies working against you, it means that you're on the right path. Don't let them take you off your path. Cut the cords of attachment if they, they may still be attached to you. You may still be picking up on it. Do your protection spells. Say your prayers. Spiritual cleansing baths. I said in another video, I'm willing to send you them a spiritual cleanse for free. All you gotta do is pay me for the shipping and a little bit for the handling just to cover my costs. I think everybody deserves to be protected. And I'm trying to find a way where I can just give it away. I'm not looking for mass orders or anything like that. I'm staying small. But I know that it's helping me, and if it's helping me, I know it's gonna help you because I know I have God on my side. He gives me the strength I need. So if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comment section and I will send you my email address and then we connect that way if you'd like. Hmm. These tea leaves like to talk. We got the ladder. You got the ladder. You're climbing towards success. So whatever you're working on, 
keep going. Plan out your day. I'm, I may not post every day. I can't guarantee I'll post every day. Right now I'm in the process of leveling my edition. This is where I'm sitting right now. So that's what I've been working on. And I've been using my chainsaw. So I'm happy about that and all my power tools. I'm excited. Things are going really well. I'm looking forward to it being finished. Check your foundation of your houses. Check all your lines. Um, if you're winterizing, if you have copper pipes, you can get some of them. It's like a foam protector that you put over them. If you can't afford that, there's straw. You can use straw to keep your lines from freezing because the straw will freeze and it will insulate insulate the pipes. I don't know why I'm sharing all this with you, but it might resonate for somebody out there. Then you got the handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. That's pretty self-explanatory. So you may meet somebody in your journeys that is going to be an important ally for you that may help you move forward in what you're doing. And it looks like it's coming from heaven to earth. Here, I'll show that to you. You see that? So it could be somebody from higher realms willing, reaching out to help you or protect you. The hand of God. There you go. Hmm. You got the bowl. Plenty of material things. The more gratitude you show for what you have, the more will come into you. Know that. Like, and it changes your vibration. Makes you excited. Hmm. Okay, I'll pull two more cards for you. We got, you got the priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? How are you being called to step up and lead? We can all lead people that are in our vicinity, our loved ones. Pray over them. Who doesn't need prayers? Know that you have so much power inside you and so much light. And so many people are suffering out there. I've had to learn some hard lessons in my life. It's not my job to save everybody. That's God's job. Only God can judge. I can't judge. And if people are doing wrong, you need to step out of the way and let God take care of it. Especially if you're being bullied or gang stalked or put down or gossiped about. And gossiping is a form of witchcraft. It's also a character assassination. And we have Archangel Gabriel. This will be the final card. Archangel Gabriel is a messenger of creativity and hope. So know that you're on the right path. Call in Archangel Gabriel for, for more creativity, for more ideas. He also protects the children, right? He protects the children. So know that the children that have passed over, that have lost their lives or given up their lives, they've done that for us. And Archangel Gabriel, God and Jesus, 
are there protecting them, protecting their light, protecting their little souls. And once the earth has calmed down and there's peace, the loved over, loved, sorry, the passed over loved ones will be able to come back. Nobody wants to live in fear anymore, especially the children. They're so important and yet they get forgotten about. In the beginning, you know, we love and coddle and, you know, we're just so, so attentive. And it seems like the minute they enter school, it's almost like you can't wait for school to start to send your kid to school. How do you think that makes the kids feel? Kids need to be paid attention to. They need nurturing and guidance. Just because they're smart or and um, playing a role of being oh so grown up, they still need you. They need you to pay attention. So when your children are like, look at me, mom, or look at me, dad, drop what you're doing and pay attention to them. They're craving your attention. They just want to be, they idolize you. They look up to you. They're like, they're sponges and they watch your every move and they want to be just like you and they want you to be proud of them. And this isn't directed at anybody. This is just common sense. I'm going to take this next card because it's appropriate. It's the new beginning. Phoenix rising. Begin your new life. Start your YouTube channel. Tell your story. Your story is going to help somebody else along the way. Never doubt that. We don't go through all this stuff in life just to keep it to ourselves. Share the information that you've learned over the years. On that note, God bless you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome to Living Light, where we let God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost guide us. Know you're protected. Know I send you my, I send you my love and appreciation. And I'm very grateful to be here. God bless you guys. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in my next upload.